Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review. Today's game up on the tabletop, or product, a mix of both I would say, is going to be called Verge of War by Verge of War Gaming. Basically it is a game similar to Warhammer 40k in which you're going to actually be getting models to build, and then you're going to be using them in armies to fight against other different types of armies, or even the same army if you'd like. You need to play with at least two or more players, and you can actually do a campaign style mode in which you can actually level up your commander and whatnot, or you can play a simple tactical style movement game where you're using rulers to move and you're rolling dice to attack, you're trying to defeat your opponent's uh, different squads and armies and whatnot, and uh, it has that feel. It's it's kind of half modeling and painting, half game all mixed into one. You have codexes for each of the different races as well as each individual units are going to have their own different stats and whatnot. They have the base rules of the game, which you can actually find on the website for Verge of War, so if you're interested in checking out what kind of models they have, as well as uh, how you put them together and all that, it will be on the website here. And if not, we can go ahead and just show you the models down below, what it looks like, and how terribly I put them together because I'm not a modeler and I definitely didn't try and paint them. So let me go ahead and show you one. So here we have the game Verge of War and the different models that were included. This is what they sent me. They were all unbuilt when I first got them, and as you can see I still have two models here that I have not built. These guys are going to require a lot of attention to detail, so I'm going to let my cameraman do that. Um, but if you're interested in checking out all that, like I said on the website, we'll have all of these models as well as how to put them together. Everything is included here, minus the little spinny stand, Deadpool, who kind of gets his way trapped on my videos sometimes, and of course Gorilla Glue, but this is something you're going to need in order to put these together. Uh, all the miniatures, you can basically put them together how you want, and they also come with a bunch of additional stuff. I have a bunch of extra bits that I didn't bring out, but just just to give you an idea, it's going to come with little hands, uh, little claws, and all that kind of stuff, and swords that you can go and attach to your characters. As long as the model is looks like and has the most of the main parts to uh, the unit that you're going to be using, it will count towards that unit there. Um, and of course, you're going to get different types of uh, armies, right? So there's these guys over here, which have got the raptors and the kind of big, long, uh, uh, they're like kind of like uh, creature-like components, characters, like almost like marines, right? And then the other side is going to be the big, large marines, along with the smaller guys here. There's also some alien type dudes that are going to come with these little crafts and whatnot. So a lot of different stuff, right? And as you put them together, as you can see, it's small components, so you're going to be able to put them together how you want. Similar to uh, Warhammer 40k and Fantasy, uh, each of them are going to come well on, I guess, sprues or in baggies, depending on how, you're, how they're going to do it. And you're going to be gluing them together, putting them on bases, and then utilizing them to fight with. I gotta ahead and try and show you all the different models and what they look like. Some of them I put together pretty well and uh, I'd done so before following the instructions just to see how difficult and easy it would be. Most of the raptors I was able to put together without even bothering to look. Uh, all the marines I did a pretty good job on I think and then of course the big guy here he's kind of messed up a little bit. I messed up on his gun uh, and these guys here look a little wonky. But what's cool about them too is you can actually maneuver these guys arms and whatnot how you'd like and if you want to go ahead and um, add magnets to them and whatnot you could do that. So so that they have the ability to change their stances and whatnot. But overall, this is what the style of uh, units you're going to get and the feel of it is. Okay, so let's come back and talk about uh, what I've seen. And I haven't played the game, like I said, this is mainly just a product review to give you guys a good look-see at what Verge is going to look like. But I have read the rules to understand how the game's going to be played. All right, let's come up. So I don't know a whole lot about Verge of War other than just basically I went through the rules and then I put the figures together. But I'll talk about how long it took, how uh, complicated it was or complex. And and how similar the game is to games like Warhammer Fantasy and 40k. Now I'm no expert on putting models together and definitely not an expert on painting. Obviously I didn't paint any of these models, but I have friends who are very good at painting models, so I'll probably have them do that. Not only that though, but these models have a ton of little bits. This actually has more, I think, than Warhammer 40k as far as each model is concerned which is pretty cool because it gives you more variety, but at the same time it goes more towards modeling than it does to simply getting ready to play the game, which is fine, right? Provided that you're going to be a modeler, I suppose, for me who likes to ch change the way these the raptors look. I mean, all the raptor parts are pretty much the same, but they give you two different types, right, as well as the different heads. This one's going to have an open mouth, this one's going to have a closed mouth, uh, and then, of course, how you shut the legs and whatnot, it's how they're going to look and feel on the ground as units, which is pretty cool, and I do like that. Now, like I said, I played Space Marines and Dark 
Eldar and Elder and Tau and Darks, uh, Chaos Space Marines and whatnot. So I have a good understanding of Warhammer. And this does feel very similar to that. And as far as what I have seen, you're going to be using dice. You're going to be using rulers. You're going to be setting up certain points. But it has a unique and interesting aspect to the rulebook. So if this is the type of game you're interested in, if you like those Warhammer 40, 40k style games and fantasy, you should definitely take a look at the rulebook because it has some like different variants of play that seemed really interesting to me as far as like leveling up characters and whatnot goes. Um, all the models look really nice and uh, I think because it's a little more complex it can be a little more difficult. I do highly suggest you taking a look at how the pieces are put together on the website because that will tell you everything you need to know if you're especially going to purchase something like this. Uh, Warhammer 40k is probably a little easier to understand until it gets to those points where you're looking at like large tanks and whatnot and that's when it's going to be more, a little more complex. But when it comes down to like something like this, just like a guy like this, there's a lot of pieces you can put on this guy and arrange them how you want, which is really cool, but still, you know, it has that complexity to it. Overall, though, the, the product looks really nice. Uh, and when, back in the day when I used to love playing Warhammer 40k, this would be another product that would greatly interest me because I was super addicted to this specific hobby. And if you still are, this is definitely one you should check out. If you haven't actually seen a game like this, something like Warhammer 40k or any of those movement miniature style games, then I would definitely take a look at Verge of War. I know that the hobbies can be pretty expensive. I don't know the price point for this one specifically. I know Warhammer can be uh, pretty pricey. So you have to have a decent budget for these type of games normally, especially if you like to collect different things. So just be wary of that. But overall, standardly good game. Looks appealing and the miniatures were not too, too difficult to put together. And then the bonuses, of course, would be the different uh, complexities slash being able to customize your units as well. And the feeling of the different different uh, miniatures, adding dinosaurs and whatnot, super, super cool. And it looks good in general. I'll be using these guys around here. Maybe I'll get a chance to play it live or something. We'll see, uh, provided enough time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested, check it out in the description below, Verge of War, and uh, see if you want to pick it up.